I mean, never know what it feels like to have a daughter. But nevertheless, God in his magnanimity has provided me a pen, blown life into a body of words and blessed me with a precious poem, baby girl. And I love her. She is minuscule pixels of me thoughtfully reflected, the embodiment of self-expression, therefore I call her poetry. For she was made in my image, Afrocentric in her penmanship, baby. The ink that flows through you is only blue because it's my eye tear drips. That's why you're so fool. How dare I abandon her? Like my poet abandoned me. Left. Untitled and half written. I am my mother's side of the story. Spoken from the pinnacle of her heart because the bottom is a graveyard of decomposing emotions. I am purposely written down in hopes that someone will look up. Understanding that life is not about how many points people give you, but how many people's lives you can give points to. Untitled news. Yeah. Understanding that the journey from brain cell to pin gel is one that many poem babies unfortunately fail. Understanding that I am one of the fortunate few because too many of these poem babies are boarded in the clinic of our minds or forced to go poetless and we wonder why they lose sleeve but as for my seeds, often will I remind her she is beautiful in every sense of the word. Teach her she is pro verbs 31, beginning with verse 10 and the flesh less. She goes to poetry slams and the judges don't score her 10. She may cry for not being picked away but she would never call herself worthless, formulated with purpose. Daddy thinks she's perfect, and she is. Every night, I will remind her that she is special. So what if the poem babies at her workshop have one of the most expensive metaphors or their <laughs> similes are well liked? You are unique, full with substance. Speak with conviction. Love yourself, and those that matter will love you back, said the best dad ever. <laughs> See mint stars and plastic moons, but you are very much human. The sensitive side of me, helping me to realize that poems are just people. And life is a notebook, yeah, a tatted notebook. But no matter how wrinkled the pages, we are all worth reading. Even if no one wants to recite you, love you, because life is very much a tatted notebook. So don't tear yourself out of it. Don't tear yourself out of it. And we all may not be poetry written in beautiful cursive, but don't ever cover the change of font. Because even in your times through Romans, there's meaning. Because God does a scribble scrap. Oh, yeah. Yeah.